And I grew up in a highly musical family. Uh, my dad, you know, had his own little garage band, uh, you know, in the 60s when he was a kid. They were called the Barracudas. You know, my mom grew up very, very highly musical family. I do have an uncle of mine. He's my great uncle. He's 86 years old now who fronted his own big band in Indianapolis, Indiana for over 30 years. Uh, his name is Mel Chance, and he's a alto tenor saxophone player, a clarinet player, an amazing clarinet player, and he also sang. And um, and they were sponsored by the phone company. They were called Mel Chance and the Bell Tones. They were sponsored by Indiana Bell. For over 30 years, he traveled through the Midwest uh, doing big band music. So there is some of that in my past. My great-great-grandfather was a vaudeville performer. We're talking like turn of the century kind of stuff. Um, but I grew up, uh, the reality for me was that I grew up in starting in sixth grade playing playing the trumpet. And I fell in love with the trumpet. I had these big old fat chubby lips and wanted to be able to play that thing. And so I was always constantly trying to find people that I, would inspire me uh, to, to listen and play my instrument. Well, you know, in the time that I grew up, there were some horns on pop radio, but not a lot. I mean, in the 80s and in the 90s, it was a very rare thing. It's even more rare now than it was then. So I kind of gravitated because you, when you play an instrument, you want to hear the music that has your instrument in it. So I would go to the to the library and I would rent out cassette tapes at the time or CDs eventually of big band music. You know, I fell in love with guys like Nat King Cole or Frank Sinatra or Harry Connick Jr. or even some of the older groups like Harry James, Glenn Miller and all those guys, and Lionel Hampton. Man, I was listening to it. And I fell in love especially with the crooners, you know, with the guys that were singing at the time what was considered pop music. That's what was popular. That was being played on the airwaves. And I fell in love with those guys. And I thought, man, wouldn't it be so cool if maybe someday I could do something like that? And then as I got a little older, you know, I started writing uh, big band arrangements and I was you know, was able to incorporate my faith into it and to make it something where I could speak about the things that are very dear to my heart uh, and about my faith and use the music that I grew up loving.